guys, it's McKenna, and today I have a video for you guys that I haven't filmed in a while, so I thought I'd do another one. If you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine and kind of how I do my makeup and what products I use on a daily basis. So, since we are all in quarantine right now, um, I have not been wearing a lot of makeup, so I don't think I ever wear makeup, like, every single day, like, I have to wear makeup, um... But if I do wear makeup, this is what I will usually do if I'm not doing something crazy. It's just like I'm going out, going to the store or something. I have a lot of makeup and get, you know, stuff in like samples and stuff like that. Um, and I try to use it all and like rotate out of what I use so that like I can use it all and like it's not all going wasted. Um, so I have a few like different products for each step of my routine to show you guys that I'll recommend that I like. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this first thing that I'm going to show you, um, I usually only use in the summer if it's really hot or if I'm sunburned. And since it's spring and it's getting warmer in places, kind of, usually, um, you might get sunburned and you might be, like, really hot. So I use this Milk Makeup Cooling Water. I've had this for a few years. Um, I'm not sunburnt right now, but it's, like, it's so... Look at my eye. <laughs> I love using it it's like cold i don't know what is in this that makes it cold like this but i would definitely recommend trying this out the first thing that i usually use is this glam glow glow starter illuminating moisturizer in nude glow this doesn't really do anything it's just like a moisturizer and it has like glitter in it or like not glitter it's like shimmery you can kind of see next for concealer um, every day I've used this concealer for many years. It is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um, my skin color changes a lot throughout the year. Um, so usually in the winter when I'm like super, super pale, I'm a 10. Um, in the spring when I'm like, I'm not really tan, but I'm not like super pale. I'm a 20, which is what I am right now. Um, and then sometimes if I'm like super tan in the summer, I will go up more. I just got a little sponge. So I usually put this under my eyes and then anywhere else if I want to like cover anything. Alrighty, concealer is done. Um, I also, I don't use foundation. I never have. It's not, I don't really like it. Um, that's my personal thing, so I don't have any. The next step the next thing that i do is blush which is one of my favorite parts i love it so the one that i've been using for the longest is the benefit benetint um it's liquid and i've been using this forever and i really like this is like a very like natural but it can be like kind of harsh if you add too much of it i haven't used it in a while because i've been using another one but this one is very good the one that i've been using the most recently is the glossier cloud paint this one is in puff um and it's the light pink one and this one's a cream there are two other ones that i will sometimes use this one is the clinique chubby stick blush this one's also kind of like a cream you like put like a line on or like a dot and then you can like blend it in. Um, I've amped up apple is the is the shade. And then if you're more of like a powder blush person, um, this one again I got as a sample in like an Ipsy bag. And this is by Tarte. It's in party dress. It's again a little bit darker, but I'm gonna use this one today because it's the one that I use the most often. If you do get this, the tube is really small. So when I got it, I was like, why is it so small? Um but like you literally need like the littlest tiny bit like the smallest amount like that's good for like my entire face there there is that the next thing is bronzer i guess i don't even know what this is called i didn't usually use this um until recently again ipsy coming through they're amazing i love them i got this in one of my packages it's a yc collection matte bronzer in carmelo and once i got this this one's like really easy to work with and i like it <laughs> Okay, there is my bronzer finished. 
Okay, so next is another one of my favorite things, which is highlighter. This is a highlighter that I've used, again, since I've used highlighter. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's the, the Balm Cosmetics Highlighter. It looks like this. Um, you can see this one's very used. I recently got this on the Ofra x nikki tutorials highlighter in glow goals i think that's like the shade but if you're not feeling powder i have some other suggestions that i really like this is the last clinique chubby stick um this one is in hefty highlight and this one has like almost a pinky hue to it it's not you can't really see it on the camera or this one um again i usually use this one when i'm tan as well because it doesn't look as good when i'm super pale um but this is sunbeam by benefit but I'm gonna use this one today. Next, we're going to get into eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is one of those things that changes on a daily basis for me. Sometimes I'll do like purple eyeshadow like all over my face and then sometimes I'll just put like glitter on my eye and then call it a day, you know? So if I'm just doing that glitter, I really like this Ulta Beauty Glitter Eye Top Coat. I think I got this in an advent calendar. I really like, I don't know if you can buy this or not, but I do really like this. If I'm, you know, kind of like doing a very intense um, eye look, um, I love this thing. I use it all the time. Or another palette that I use a lot for um, more intense makeup is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Mini Controversy. These colors are super pretty. So I'm not going to go crazy today. Yeah, I'm using this Sweet Talk. Um palette by ColourPop. I use this one, which is called Catch Me. This one that's called Dream Maker. And then I'll mix side to side and garden date. Alrighty, so this is what we've got. It's kind of hard to see, but it's has glitter on it so okay so the next thing that i do is a kind of a new thing that i've started doing um which is eyeliner i'm terrible at doing eyeliner and that's why i use eyeshadow instead of eyeliner because if you mess up it's not as noticeable but i'm using this eyeshadow palette um i believe this is like from five below it's the B bombshell. I like using it for my eyeliner because it's not, they're not super pigmented colors. So it's not like when I'm putting black on my eye, it's like dark, dark black. It's almost like grayish. Um, and that's kind of a good thing for this because then again, if you mess up, it doesn't really show that much. So I'll take this black one. I have this little like angled brush. And then I will take this black color in this corner right here and put it on my like lower lash line towards the outside. I won't cover the whole thing. I mean, my eyes are kind of watering, but like, you can see I just put it on that part right there and not like the whole thing. And then sometimes when I'm feeling a little daring, I'll do a little wing. We're gonna see if I'm feeling daring today and see if I can do it. If not, I'm won't. <laughs> you can't even really see it. I did it, but you can't see. I don't like it like super harsh. I feel like I can't really pull it off super harsh, um, but I kind of I kind of like it. Next, curling my eyelashes with this Revlon eyelash curler that I've had for way too long. Next, I'm going to use this lash primer um, by Tarte. It's called Opening Act. I feel like it's a little bit expensive, maybe. I don't really remember, but I personally think this one's worth it. My two favorite mascaras that I usually use, this one is my everyday one. It is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in Black. Um, and then this one I recently got that I really like, it is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Rich Black. Um, sometimes if I want my lashes to be really long, I will, um, layer these and do, like, one coat of each. Actually, I'll do that so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I first do this one. So, there are my eyelashes. So, the last thing that I usually do is lips, um, which is like one of my favorite things ever. I love lipstick. I have like two drawers of lipstick. I have way too much lipstick. Depending on the mood I'm in, I have five different options. These are usually my go-tos, but like I said, I've got a lot of options of lipstick. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Moon Jelly. This one is the 
I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. B-U-X-O-N, it looks like that. This is the Plumping Lip Polish in Jessica. So it's the one that like, doesn't burn, but like, you know what I mean. Or I will use the Glossier Lip Gloss. I just have the transparent one. This one I know is kind of pricey, um, but I'm sure if you really want something like this, you could Google it and there's probably dupes at like a drugstore like Walgreens or something. If I don't feel like lip gloss or sometimes I like put one of these on and then put lip gloss over it. Um, I will most of the time use one of these two Sephora lipsticks. This pink one is called Tulips. I will use this one in We, the like French O-E-Y. I'm gonna use a little bit of this and then I think put the gloss here. Oh gosh, that's what I'm feeling like. Okay, Okay, to finish it off, I usually use some sort of Mario Badescu spray. I love that I've been using this for years. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope that you liked it. I think it's really cool to see like how everybody does their makeup a little bit differently. But before I end this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about something really cool that's coming up. So if you don't know, the Wednesday after this video goes up is the 22nd of April, which is Earth Day. Earth Day is really important to me, if you know me. Um, I think it's very important that we are protecting our planet. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a company called SandCloud. I'm wearing this shirt. SandCloud's mission is to give back to wildlife, but specifically marine life, and to help cleaning the oceans and beaches and helping all of that out. I know that this is a little bit different. I can't ask you to like go out and like clean a beach or something because we can't really leave. Um, but you can shop at SandCloud from your house. You don't have to leave, you don't have to do anything and still help save marine life and the oceans at the same time. The website is always linked in the description. Um, so if you ever wanna shop, it is always there. The other super cool thing about SandCloud is that any purchase made, no matter how much you spend, 10% of the proceeds go to saving marine life. Another super cool thing about SandCloud is their mission is all about reduce, reuse, recycle, and not wasting anything. This t-shirt that I have on right now, and there are a bunch of other ones that they have on their website, are called Eco Tees because these shirts are made out of recycled plastic water bottles. So this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now is 50% 50, 50 of it is made out of this recycled plastic. So if that wasn't persuasion enough, I've got more for you. I have a code just for you guys for 15% off of your purchase. So again, my code is always in the description with the link to SandCloud, which is where you can find it under this video. Again, um, but if not, I will put my code on the screen so that you guys can see it and go shop, go do your thing. So yeah, do your part. You can do your part by online shopping. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my makeup, but also I hope you're gonna go buy some from SandCloud. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you next Sunday with a new video.